the First World War had recently ended. Cinematography was still in its infancy. My father was a pioneer in this field. He was able to get Gaumont British to recall the wedding of my sister, who was also my godmother. Coming out of the family home, Castleman and Highgate, are Mr. and Mrs. Roche, the bridegroom's father and mother. And on his right, my mother and a nursing sister of a Spanish order of nursing nuns who were great friends of the family and had nursed them all from time to time. Yeah. In the background is George, my father's chauffeur and general factotum, a very loyal retainer of the family. Close relatives of the bride and groom. This is Robert, the bridegroom's brother and his wife, with his aunt, known as Tanta. Annala, the bride's sister, was maid of honor and in charge of the bride's maids and pages. The bride's maids were my elder sister, Barbara, my younger sister, Margaret, and the two pages were Brother Lawrence and myself. Our respective ages were nine and seven. Coming out of the house is my sister Ree, the bride, on the arm of my father, who will give her away. Rosh with his brother Charles, RAF, who was the best man. The bride and her father and the bride's entourage arriving at the church assisted by George. The eldest brother Leonard, who acted as master ceremonies to Father Bruno, the officiating priest. He had incidentally baptized the bride when she was a baby. The elderly priest was a great friend of the Roche family and is chatting to my father. The bride and groom are now returning to the house for the wedding breakfast in the garden of the family home.
The marriage was very happy and fruitful. They had three girls, Cynthia, Tony and Diana. In 1943, Jeremy was born. He became the youngest doctor of music and a lecturer in the subject at Durham University. Lawrence and Ree remained deeply in love all their life, dying within two weeks of each other in their old age.